guitar lesson. Today we are going to learn how to play Faded by Alan Walker. So this song is very easy to play if you want to learn it by using chords, the rhythm, because it has only four chords for the whole song, okay? And now there is no guitar in this song, but we are going to learn how to play this opening riff, which sounds really beautiful to me, and it's played on a piano, but it sounds really well on the guitar as well. So I'm going to show you how to play it. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, put a capo on the 6th fret okay this is 6th fret 1 2 3 4 5 6 now we are only using the capo to match match the key with the original track okay so let's see and now the chords that we are going to use are A minor to F major to C to G now you can like I said go through the entire song using just these four chords so let's learn how to play the intro first and then after that I'm going to show you how to play the chords and how to add a little strum pattern. Okay, so let's see. So the first part which comes on A minor is like this. Alright, once again. So. Now we are playing two parts, okay? We are playing this. And we are playing this. Okay, so when we play them together, first you want to play the fifth string open and the second string first fret. Okay, so play them together. I'm using my thumb and my middle finger you can use any of the fingers that you want it's it's your choice really when it comes to finger picking play them together all right and then you want to put your middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string okay so I play the fourth string with my index finger all right so okay once again The next time, what you want to do is you play the same thing on the right hand, you pick the same strings, just that you add your ring finger on the third fret of the fifth string. Okay, so you play like this. First, you have open on the fifth string, then you have third fret on the fifth string. So you go. Then again on the open. Okay, so for until uh, now you have this. Then fourth time you have this. What you do is you again bring bring your ring finger on the third fret of the fifth string, and then instead of playing the second string, you play the first string open. So you get and then you want to play this again, uh, the fourth string. Okay, so that's what you have on A minor. Let me play the whole thing one more time. I'll go really slow. Okay, check this out. Once again. Then on F major you have Okay, so here you have your index finger on the first fret of the top string and you have your pinky finger on the fifth fret of the first string and you play them together, right? And then you want to play third fret on the fifth string with your ring finger so you have like this okay once again like this right so um, again you do this
you do it three times okay so here you're playing the first and sixth strings together you play the fifth string do this again do this again so three times okay one two three four the fourth time what you do is you put your pinky finger on now the third fret of the first string and again pick these two strings together and the, like I said the right the picking will be the same just that from here you come over here on the first string okay so on uh, on the F major you have this one two three four once again let me do it slowly So let me play the whole thing from the beginning, okay? Now you come to C major and we're here you play this. Not that difficult at all. What you want to do is first uh, first you want to have a left hand with like, like a C chord so for C chord you got your ring finger on the third fret of the fifth string got your middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string got your index finger on the first fret of the second string so here you do Okay, so what we're doing is we are playing the fifth string and the first string together. Okay, and you want to keep the C shape over here like I told you before. So, fifth and first string together. And after, after you pick them together, you want to play the third string. Open. Okay, so you got... Once again. So... time you want to play instead of the fifth string you want to play the fourth string and first string together and then this third string will remain the same so you have and go back and forth twice so that's what you have on C let me play it again we are changing the bass notes over here you get it you get it now let me play the whole thing from the very beginning we go we have learned a minor we've learned F and we've learned C major so let's see the whole thing part which is on G major and you do this okay now this part the G major you will see you will find it to be very similar to what we did on C which is that we are changing the chord shape now we are moving a string up and we are placing our ring finger on the third fret of the top string and we're gonna place our middle finger on the second fret of the fifth string wrist is open okay so we just need these two fingers over here and over here what you do is again uh, you play the top string and the second string now the second string is open you play them together right and then you want to play the fourth string open so okay the next time like we did on C you change the bass note come down a string and come on the fifth string and the second string together and then this will remain the same and then just alternate it right
air, you just want to do three times. So once on the sixth string, once on the fifth string, back to the sixth string, and in the end, you just want to play second fret on the third string. Because that's how we end that segment over there. So on the G major, you got this. Once again, one, two, three, four. Now we have covered the whole thing. We've covered all the four chords. Now let's play the whole thing again, okay? like this you just want to play the top string third fret and second string open just want to do that on G okay when you come around the second time so if you play the whole thing now again you go something like this part like I said very easy to play just four chords the first one is a minor you got your first finger on the first fret of the second string and these two fingers are on the second fret of the third and fourth string F major I like to play it like this or you can play it like this have a bar on the first fret you got these two fingers ring and pink fingers on third fret of the fifth and fourth strings at your middle finger on the second fret of the third string. So you can play it like this, or you can play it like this. Then go to C major. I told you how to play third fret on the fifth string, second fret on the fourth string, first fret on the second string. And G major. So just move this shape up. Third fret on the top string, second fret on the fifth string, and open, 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 and third fret on the first string again. So let's see. Now, um, to practice the chord changes, first what you can do is, you know, you can just play all chords once and just strum it down. Okay, so A minor. You were the shadow to my light. Go to F major. Did you feel a C major. G major. Another star to fade away. Back to A minor. simple strum pattern down uh, what we're doing is we're just doing down 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 okay down 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 up down 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 up so one
goes on for the whole song. Now you can play the second verse like that and the second chorus also like that. And then in the end, you can play the whole, this whole, uh, the, the intro as once again, and that we learned. All right, and that will be the end of the song. So uh, the main purpose of this lesson was to show you how to play this riff that I just played, and I hope you learned it. And if you find it difficult, then no problems. You can always play the chords and um, all good. All right, so uh, that is it for today. I will see you in the next lesson. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more uh, guitar lessons. And uh, we'll talk later.